it's about 10 to 5 on Wednesday the 25th, uh, day 3. An early start, some might say. Well, I expected to wake up with the, the dawn chorus. In fact, it's rather a dawn shriek than a dawn chorus. Um, early start and also quite an uncomfortable night. Uh, sharing a one-man tent with a dog is not the easiest thing. Also, as you see, the tent has this lovely natty little narthex area. Um, what I hadn't realised is that stuff you leave on the floor will be wet in the morning, uh, not with rain but with dew, and so my boots are damp, which is silly of me. Um, have to sort that out. Anyway, feeling positive. Today's going to be quite a tough day probably the hardest of the walk across the Lammermuir Hills from Gifford to Duns, but I had a good day yesterday and uh, I'm feeling upbeat. I'm hearing Gifford, a guest of Violet Robertson, a member of our congregation, and her neighbour Bridget, who just been fantastic. I was saying to Violet last night, if I ever have to go into war, she could be, be my general. Wonderful organised hospitality, um, logistics of how to prevent the dog swallowing her cat O'Malley, Meals prepared for today, lovely hot bath last night, um, all very good. Um, so I'm grateful to Virat. Um, also to one or two other people I didn't thank yesterday. Um, Frank for help with kit, which has been fantastic. I'm travelling very light. Jubin for help with mapping. And Felicity for lovely gossipy lunches and also help with kit and encouragement. A member of our parish who I see, uh, who's quite disabled, was saying the other day, um, in relation to moving house and having to rely on lots of other people's help. Give other people a chance to show themselves at their best. Nice thought as I move on into the main part of the pilgrimage. Bridget is a great gardener and I just want to show you her garden before we leave. There we are. Just going to give you a little tour. That seems to be an apple tree. And then look at this lovely little area with wisteria above. That makes me so nostalgic for Westcott House where I trained for the priesthood where we had lovely wisteria. Nice bird table. Vegetable patch which we managed to prevent the dog crapping on. And then this reminds me of my childhood. Look at that lovely, lovely Copper beech tree.